I have been often asked the question, how do you pray? People ask me that question, sometimes believers, sometimes unbelievers, sometimes seekers, people seeking to know more about God. But one question that continues to come back to me over and over and over again is, how do you pray? Well, the answer that I give today is, keep it 100. Keep it 100. Tell God the truth. Be transparent. Be honest. Be truthful with God about who you are, about what you need from God, about what you desire of God. Because when you keep it 100 with God, God will cover you with his protection. Jesus prayed for his disciples just before he left them. Just before his crucifixion, he prayed for his disciples and asked that God would protect them in the world. God will protect you if you are completely honest with God in your communication with God, in your relationship with God. Just keep it 100. When you keep it 100, God will fill you with complete Jesus joy. What's Jesus joy? Jesus is the joy that the world didn't give and the world can't take away. Jesus joy is the joy that keeps you in the midst of profound human suffering. Happiness is about what's happening right now. Joy is about what God has given you on the inside, something that sustains and keeps and blesses and encourages in spite of everything going on the outside, you still have Jesus joy on the inside. If you keep it 100 with God, God will give you complete Jesus joy. Finally, when you keep it 100 with God, God will cleanse you in the truth. Jesus said that he had shared his truth, the word, with his disciples so that they would be cleansed in truth. A lot of us need to be cleaned up. A lot of us need to be cleaned up from the things we've done and the things we've said and the places we've been and the people we've hurt. A lot of us need to be cleaned up. That cleaning up is a work that God and only God can do. It's a work that happens as we come to know the truth, the truth of God's word. When we read the word of God and we acknowledge and accept and receive the word of God, not just hearing it, but receiving it, that truth changes us. It cleans us up. We are cleansed in the truth. When you keep it 100 with God, when you come to God and say, Lord, this is me. I've got my faults. I've got flaws. I've made mistakes. I've done wrong. Forgive me. Have mercy on me. God is excited about cleaning you up. The Bible says there's more rejoicing in heaven over one soul that comes to repentance than over many who already know the Lord. I think that it's so important that we're honest with God, that we tell God the truth, that we keep it 100 with God. Because when we do, the blessings will be manifold, protection, joy, and cleansing in the truth. That's the gift that God has for you. So remember, keep it 100.